Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at the clone brush, which is down here, and which is a very popular, very useful tool in working with images. This video then is very much the basics of how it works. So if you don't know what the clone tool is or are a bit unsure, this is for you. So let's go up here and zoom in. Say we want to get rid of that bit, these things up here. You can really see that something funny is already happening. And this is because if you'll see to the left of the circle, which is the brush, I've got a little plus sign and it moves with the brush. And if I want to place that, I go Alt and click somewhere. And then if I let go of Alt, now I can move around somewhere. The plus stays where it is until I click on the mouse. And then it starts painting and if I click again it paints more and so I can click on these things here and paint away those things there. However if you look closely at this this looks you can see where I've been doing it. So I'm going to control Z and undo that because the first tip is that we reduce the hardness of the brush. You're very seldom going to do cloning otherwise. And typically it's going to be below half, somewhere around here. It depends upon what you're doing. So here we go. Let's reduce the size a little bit. And the second tip in here is when you're doing things like skies, normally skies are a bit dark at the top and get lighter as they go down. So if you copy upwards, it's not going to be quite the same colour, so always copy sideways where you can. And it's true generally of a lot of things, copying sideways, like things going into the distance. It's a bit better to do that. So if I copy this here, or oh, notice here I'm missing a bit, that is I've got that band across the top. That's because my plus is going off the screen there. So with you near the top, alt click a little bit lower, and then you're painting slightly upwards then you're going to catch that sort of thing. Another little trap, well this can be a bit confusing, I'll alt click out to the left there, then I'm going to paint over this here, but I'm going to hold the, this down, and if I go to the right, keep going, look at what's happening here, it's painting that back again because it paints the copy it's going from is the original before you start painting. It's not sampling it whilst you're painting. So if I go up here, see where the plus is, it's going over that tree there. So if I control Z and do that, you can see where the plus was. And always in the circle, very, very usefully, it shows you what you will get if you click and paint. So this is very, very handy stuff. So to get rid of all the rest of that, I could just sum out the side. Alt click and just paint up to that, paint over that and then Alt click a little bit lower and paint a little bit higher to get rid of those things and then start looking at the other things here. I've got a bit of cloud so I'm going to make that cloud look a little bit more natural there. So we're always looking to look make things natural. If I come down here, now another thing about all this is if I go in Control zoom, control roll my mouse to get into there. If I wanted to copy a piece of this, say for example, I was going over this vertical bar here, I'll bring the mouse size down and I alt click on something that an edge here. Then when I go over to here, as I move up and down, I can see where it is. And you can zoom in really closely if you need to and make sure that's exactly in line. And notice what I'm doing here, because it's cut detail, I click once for each dab, I'm some dabbing it, rather than painting, I'm going dab, 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 so I can see each time whether I'm getting it right, because otherwise I might be sampling from somewhere that's not quite right. And so I can see there, I can You can see they do pretty well. That really 
getting rid of stuff. So overall, that's just a quick summary then of what we're doing with the clone brush. There's a lot more you can do with it, including all these things up here. And we'll be covering that in another video. But this is a basics video and that's the very basics of cloning. Thank you very much for watching.